हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल वंस अगेन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए टॉपिक कॉल्ड थ्रस्ट वेक्टरिंग व्हाट इज थ्रस्ट वेक्टरिंग थ्रस्ट वेक्टरिंग मींस डायरेक्टिंग द थ्रस्ट इन ए डायरेक्शन अदर देन दैट पैरेलल टू द व्हीकल्स लॉन्गिट्यूडिनल एक्सिस दिस अलाउस द एयरक्राफ्ट टू अंडरग्रो मैनोवर्स दैट कन्वेंशनल कंट्रोल सरफेसेस लाइक एलेरोंस और फ्लैप्स कैन नॉट प्रोवाइड दीज आर यूज्ड इन मॉडर्न डे कॉम्बैक्ट एयरक्राफ्ट इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोवाइड एक्सेप्शनल एजिलिटी एंड मैनोवरिंग कैपेबिलिटीज thrust vectoring was originally developed as a means of v or s stall that is vertical or short take off and landing thrust vectored aircraft have better climb rates besides extreme maneuvers most of the modern day combat aircrafts have thrust vectoring some of the latest aircrafts are also having axisymmetrical nozzle thrust vectoring there are two types of thrust vector controls one is mechanical control second one is phylicid control mechanical control involves deflecting the engine nozzle and thus physical alter the direction of thrust phylicid vectoring involves either injecting fluid or removing it from the boundary layer of the primary jet mechanical vectoring system is heavier and complex there are two types of mechanical thrust vectoring one is internal thrust vectoring second one is external thrust vectoring internal thrust vectoring permits only pitch control external thrust vectoring can be used for pitch and yaw controls here we can see a schematic diagram of internal thrust vectoring so here we will be having a control surfaces inside the nozzle so that we can actuate these during thrust vectoring so here flaps for deflection can be provided so that we can actuate these control surfaces flaps either in downwards or in top direct upward direction so that we will be able to actuate these surfaces and we can uh, control the thrust vector here we can see external thrust vectoring where we will be using flaps or petals to be appropriately deployed to affect vectored thrust Phylicid thrust vectoring has been demonstrated successfully at a laboratory scale. This method has several advantages over the mechanical control. Main challenge lies in ensuring an effective control with a linear response. Other concepts like shock thrust vector control, co-flow and counter-flow thrust vectoring concepts are also being persuaded. So here we can see phylicid thrust vectoring where we are going to use the formation of where we are going to use shock waves or generating the shock by generating these shock waves we are going to divert the flow and in some cases we are going to have secondary flows and primary flows primary flows will be in a linear manner where our secondary flows will guide these primary flows in order to move in other directions co flow and countered flow thrust vectoring it is called as shock vectoring thrust vectoring where we are going to use the formation of shocks in order to guide the primary and secondary flows with this we'll be winding up the video if you like the video please do like share and subscribe